Love my pretties. How are you guys? I'm here to give a message. Crowning a read, we have um judgment. Okay. We have judgment crowning a read. And then we have the two of wands, which in th this particular deck it means dominion. Okay. It feels like someone has had a victory over something. I do feel like it was a struggle. Um, somebody was trying to fight for the rights to something. You got a fight. Fight all right. To party. Okay, so somebody could have been fighting for the right to live their life. Somebody could be could have been fighting over the right. Like, you know what this feels like? I'm going to be honest. Like, this feels like being the heir to some sort of throne. Like, if it feels like it belonged to one person, but another person was trying to get it or other people were trying to get it. Okay, I feel like now is the final judgment. I feel like whoever this is, this could be a Leo. I feel like whoever this is, or you could have Leo in your chart, um, it feels like they won. I'm gonna be a mighty king like no man was before. Dun, 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 dun. Free to do it all my way. The Lion King is significant here. Somebody probably had an evil ass family member that was trying to go against them. <laughs> this King of Cups, let's see what, the, what he's about. Everybody looks left. Everybody looks right. Everywhere you look around. Stand this Somebody's going to be in the spotlight. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> somebody could have been trying to fight for the rights to another person's love. You know what I mean? And when I say fight for the rights for another person's love, there's a energy here where, um, let's just say male or female, right? Like there's a male energy here, I guess, with this King of Cups, right? With the temperance, this man could, could be a Sagittarius or he could just be very manipulative or you could be a Sagittarius, right? Um, it feels like he was trying to fight to keep this, this chick uh, wanting dominion over her energy is what it feel like. I just heard enemy. Show me what, what this is about, what that King of Cups energy is about. Yeah, King of Wands. Look at him. Like, I feel like whoever this person is. So, so we got two guys here, all right? And this, this, this temperance card, you know, this look like a female. This is a female. So it could have been two guys fighting over a woman, but she's her own person. Or it could have been one of these male energies, you know, with the King of Wands and the temperance. This is definitely a Sagittarius, okay? Fighting so that this female energy doesn't end up with a king of cups. With this at the bottom, we have um, ace of cups and pleasure. It's like this man is fighting like, oh my God. I'm in love with the shape of you. A push and pull like a magnet. And though my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. And now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discover it's something brand new. I'm in love with your body. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> this, this man is in love with your body. So he like the things that you do when you do them. Why wouldn't he? But that don't mean go turn into some miserable, you know, um enemy because you can't be my lover you know what i mean this person is a fool like whoever this is they get drunk they slouch um in their chair they masturbate a lot is what they telling me all right we're gonna explore that person first tell me what this is yeah this person is watching this person is watching you and ready to cut your head off because they feel like you're having sex with other people or you're receiving cups or offering cups of love. Um, this person feels like you may have gone on vacation with another individual and they're ready to cut your head off because of that. Um, I heard Venice, Italy. Somebody's name may be Venice. 
They feel like you're going on dates. They don't like it. And they want your head. Hmm. Tell me what this is. Yeah, this person does not want you, okay, with this nine of cups, this person does not want you to receive wish fulfillment, okay? They don't want you to sit at the head of your own table with another man and have, and have you know, um, and, and be fruitful and multiply. They don't want you to have kids with another person. They don't want you to be in love. This person wants dominion over your energy, period, okay? um, You're being called to have strength through the situation. Like, your energy is yours. You are your own person. This person cannot overtake you, okay? I just hear you belong to God, and that's it. You belong to the most high. This person over here keeps reminiscing about when y'all when y'all were together. Or even if you still together with this person. I feel like y'all on the outs. That's what I feel like. But this man still feel like he has a uh, control over you. Like he own you. You don't own me. I'm not just one of your many toys. You don't own me. Don't say I can't fuck with other boys. And don't tell me what to do. And don't. This man feel like he only. He nasty. I don't, uh, this person is nasty. Yeah. This person always wants you to be in grief. If you, they're, they're saying basically like, you know, and they're not willing to accept that you don't want to be with them. They, they basically saying like, if you don't, if you not going to be with me, you're not going to be with nobody. Period. And not only as it pertains to your relationship, they want you to be in grief as it pertains to anything else. Like this person wants you to be so sad. And I picked this up before that they want you to feel like you did the wrong thing by walking away from them or staying away from them. Yeah. This person is upset with how beautiful you are. If you're receiving attention um, that you go out, they don't like that. Okay. Um, they have a problem with your beauty. They feel like it draws other people in. Um, but back to what I was saying about, um, you know, they feel like they don't want you to be happy with nothing. They want you to feel so sad that you feel like you did the wrong thing by leaving them alone or staying away from them. Okay? Like, oh, ever since I left such and such, my life has been in ruin. I should go back or something like that. Or, you know what? My life is in ruin. The only person maybe that will help me is such and such. But such and such is wicked. And such and such is suffer from sexual, sexual addictions. And they just told me such and such see spirits, not good ones. So he, I just, okay, they said demonic interruption, Lord. So this is the weirdo. We know who this is. This is that sad, this is that weirdo that we, that we found, uh, you know, in the Sagittarius read a long time ago. And we never stopped calling him weirdo from then, okay? This person does not like how you're mystical and magical, how you receive, um, Wow, they, wow, they said they, this person don't like how you keep your space cleansed. This person doesn't like how you can move things with your mind. You may be a psychic or something like that. You know, you may uh, have some spiritual gifts that this person don't like that. This person don't like that everything you touch turns to gold. And, you know, they would have no problem with that if you were to still be with them. But because you have separated yourself from them and they're not able to bask in your ambiance anymore or, you know, soak up your blessings, your positive karma, now they want everything to be in ruin for you. They don't like that, you know, you're not going to need them. We're going to find out what that judgment is. I feel like God called judgment on the situation as far as, you know, this man is concerned. Wow. I picked up this... Um, I picked up this card by accident, but it says, um, long money and connections. Okay. This person that you're dealing with, um, may have, uh, may be connected to something. It's a COVID. All right. <laughs> it's like some negative connected to some negativity. Okay. We know who this is. We picked up this person many and plenty of times. Okay. Almost every read they come out, this person comes out. Every collective read. They saying he's stalking you. Wow. That's crazy. I never heard of that before. But they basically saying like. 
like oh monitoring spirits okay monitoring spirits like you know like he's stalking you he got the birds in your neighborhood stalking you the deers that be looking at you it make me feel like he jumped bodies or something like that i don't know with that with that long money with that um long money or long connections right energy it's like this person ought to be connected to some type, some sort of secret society or something like that because of the type of things that he's doing the type of stuff that he's using it's real mystical, magical. You know what I mean? Demonic. <laughs> okay? Like jumping bodies. What I said, dealing with a person who, you know, is into some sort of negative magic, all right? And they do this for power. And that's why we have the energy of dominion here. This person wants dominion over your energy. Now they're telling me that this person wants dominion over your energy to use it to manifest. Okay? When you were laying down with this person, you were feeding them. This person is a vampire. So when you were laying down with them, you were feeding them. Okay? Like I said, they, wanna, they want to bask in your ambiance. They want your essence. They want your energy around so they can um, be blessed. So um, they could have different blessings. So they could have positive karma around them. Okay. But they racking up karma for themselves. But they want you to get them out of it. Yeah. This person calls on a day and, and not positively. Like work with the day. Like they work with, 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 um, yeah, look at this masculine. I just heard pagan real loud. Real loud. And with this remembrance energy, I'm telling you, like, you see what I'm saying about working with the dead? Working with the dead. We have the energy of ancestors here, but that's not really what, that, that's not, you know, like I said, this person's working with the dead. This person probably work a lot in the graveyard. Okay, you'll catch them in the graveyard. Oh, nec necromancy is what, is what this person deals with. Necromancy. What the, what did I say? What did I tell you about this person playing in the graveyard and the card pops out? Crazy. This person has a lack of self-awareness. They're in that, did I do that energy? And is a spiritual bully. So they've been using all types of calling up dead on you, sending you evil, evil spirits and stuff like that. This person is an incubus. I told you, and they have a soul contract. So this person has sold their soul and they're an incubus um, or succubus energy, all right? Now, here's the thing. Yeah, and they're also gang stalking you. That's the that's the where that card came where that card came from about the long money or connections, okay? This person is very well connected with evil um groups that practice dark witchcraft. Demonic witchcraft. So they had other people help them fight over your energy. Yeah, mental illness. We picked this person up and we picked this person up many and plenty of times. But this person is suffering. What is this? And, and, and another thing too, they're always masturbating. Like, and it feels spiritual. So we have the lovers and queen of pentacles. Who was this queen of pentacles? What? Who was queen of pentacles? Listen, so we got, this came out in, the, in another read too. Like, basically, who, there's a Gemini that may be involved here, okay? But it just feels to me like um, you guys may have been in a relationship. There was a person outside of y'all relationship. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Um, I feel like this person, whoever this is with this Ace of Pentacles, I, that was she was the money train. She was the money train, okay? They could have done a deal with her, taken an offer from her. But whatever that this situation is, it felt like their relationship was all about business and money. Yes, with the Eight of Cups, it's like he may have walked away from her or she may have walked away from him. Now it's like he got his eyes trained on you or his eyes were always trained on you. Okay? So it's between the Queen of Pentacles and the, and, and the Queen of Cups. Yeah, what did I say? juggling going back and forth between the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups however i feel like the queen of cups has walked away okay and that's what waged this war okay oh you're not gonna let me juggle you no more i'm only dealing with her for the money 
<laughs> I'm only dealing with her for the money. Please let me back into your energy. It ain't as prosperous as hers. But see, it doesn't matter because either way, whoever this male is, it, he was he was using both of these females, okay? I do feel like with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups here, he's in love with this Queen of Cups. The loving, nurturing, right? But it feels like it's business with this other chick. But either way, you're still in it for the energy that you're receiving, whether it's material energy with the Queen of Pentacles or it's that prosperous, emotional, um, light type energy empathic energy so it's like spiritual you 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 want spiritual gain with this queen of cups and you looking for material gain with this other chick <laughs> this person feel like they got a chick they got a chick for the spirit world and a chick for the earth plane like i got my i got my child Crazy. What did I say? This person is selfish. She want everything all to herself. All the bitches. Okay. All the energy. All the control. All the domination. That's what he want. All that and you and you and you you left masturbating. I don't get it. Oh, they said say goodbye to this person. I don't know what that means. Ooh. Say goodbye. There's some sort of sense of, uh, you know, of things being over for this person. This male. person has taken a risk yeah that has uh landed them in um a state of imagining things seeing things remember i said this person sees spirits you see how she's like not shaded in and it's imagination this person sees things hears things. you must be hearing things this person must be hearing things okay they must be seeing things too because they took a risk playing in some sort of spiritual energy, okay? Playing in some sort of spiritual energy they had no business playing with. And now they're sitting over here delusional. Ten of Cups to me, as a, you know, as a reader, sometimes it could extreme happiness, you know, wish, uh, you know, fulfilled in all areas of life. But it's also delusion, okay? It's a little bit of drugs that's involved too. I can feel it. <laughs> My ancestor said, in homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> and homosexuality too funny yeah this person is off balance they're off balance they're off their rocker definitely and they're watching you yeah th look at that the energy of despair okay everything's dark around them I well I just heard I'm looking for a place I'm searching for a face is there anybody here? I know. Because nothing's going right. And everything's a mess. And no one likes to be alone. What I said, I said he's watching. What is this little kid doing here? Oh, nah, he's crazy. Why wow, they said this person does a lot of talking to themselves, but, you know, who don't talk to themselves? But it's like... It's not good. They seeing things, hearing things. Okay, tell me about judgment. Let's close it up. Judgment. This person is lost. And they, they seeing a lot of negative entities and spirits. What does that mean? The sun and the moon. This is the hoop. Yup. Wow. 
this is like the battle between the sun and the moon that's that's crazy i've never heard of that before but i know i know because a lot of these 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 energies these people like they work in the moon they work solely with the moon okay and i had told y'all before to work with the sun because they were working with the sun and so they showing me the battle between the sun and the moon and the wheel of fortune is here meaning that everything will be balanced karmically this will be this this is karmic justice period and it's coming in swift and it's coming in fast Okay, someone's going to be set free from this. And there will be a winner. person was is going to follow a spirit somewhere i don't know who you are but i'm with you this person is going to follow some sort of imaginary spirit somewhere this person is being guided and it's not by anything positive they seeing stuff and they talking to, talking to things that's how they would have liked it i feel like before they were friends with these entities these entities were getting them uh blessings and prosperity and you know helping them carry out wickedness and malicious plans now it's like it's not so much you know what i mean these entities is playing with them now for whatever reason yeah, what I said, physical activity. They're telling them to do something and time out. Physical activity and time out. This person is being led to, to something, okay? They're being led somewhere. Judgment is being called on, on uh, what this person was doing to you, what these people were doing to you, and they will be um, getting put on a timeout, period. I hope that helped.